Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and yes, I did do a video very similar to this not that long ago, but don't look for it because I've already taken it down. This is kind of my improved version of that video, and I'm talking about my car kit. Now, I'm sure the title of the video grabbed your attention, which that's what it was meant to do. You're watching it, right? But when I first did that video, that was uh, that was right after I started driving the Santa Fe. I've got all that space in there to, to put all sorts of emergency gear, so why not do it? It's better than sitting in my garage or my basement. I've tweaked it a little bit. There's been one or, one or two times where I went back there to get something and I didn't have it. I think that I've got this just about as good as I possibly can. Whenever you do videos like this, like in the previous version of this video, you're always going to have people that are saying, you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have this, which may not be particularly important to me in this area, in this time of year, so on and so forth. So it always changes a little bit as the seasons change. But I did tweak some things. Uh, I think I got it just about as good as I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show the items one at a time quickly. And unless it's something very important uh, that I want to throw something in there, I'm not going to like talk about each thing. We can talk about it in the comments section if we need to. But I just want to show how many things I have in my vehicle. It's always there. Because the way that I look at it is if, if you're not taking full advantage of your vehicle in setting it up as a mobile emergency kit, you're messing up. Because you're always around your vehicle. You're not always around your house. But you're always near your vehicle. Your vehicle is usually, unless you got on a plane and traveled somewhere, your vehicle is going to be where you are. So you've got your first level you know, what's on your body, you know, then maybe what's on in your carry bag, then what's in your car, then what's in your house, what's in your bug out locations, what's in your caches and whatever. But what's on your body and what's in your car, very important. I tested it this past weekend, went camping, didn't pack any bags. I went completely off of what was in that car and that's why there was a couple small, tiny little holes in it. I fixed those holes. Now let's see just how well I did. So let's watch the intro and find out what's in the vehicle. Forewarning you, because everyone's a critic, you will see some redundancies in my stuff. If you're no stranger to me, you know that's just how I roll. Certain things, I'm all about the redundancies. Not only that, but redundancies allow you to outfit other people that might be with you in some sort of emergency. So first we're gonna start out with what is just inside my car. Not what's packed away in the compartments or anything like that what's in the main part of my SUV. So starting right here in my door, I have a cold fire fire extinguisher. I've been slacking. I was I planned on having the cold fire video done like last month. I think I'm gonna do it as soon as everybody gets back to school because I won't have anyone looking over my shoulder being like, what are you doing crazy things with fire for on the back porch? But this stuff uh, knocks flames out like that and instantly cools whatever's burning. So awesome stuff. This stays in my door. Let's move and see what's in the console here. Okay, recently I did the video on this uh, dash cam that I got from GearBest. Still works good. This is a skosh mount for my phone, so that's also my navigation system and all that. And currently, my SE Kandaroo is hanging off of it. 
Now my center console has two compartments. Top compartment, uh, currently we have a roll of T-Rex tape, competitor to Gorilla Tape. Trade pen, uh, these Milwaukee Sharpies, which I kind of like them better than the Sharpies. Wet wipes, because I have kids and they can't get food in their mouth. Uh, through night, 1A V3 Archer. This is a Bark River Adventurer in LMAX. Haven't ever done a video on this, but sometimes uh, this is a, one of my favorite little pocket fix blades. Uh, right in the rain pad, a couple, couple pen, extra pens, and some extra keys to other things. So that is just this main compartment up here. Got Febreze to keep the car fresh. More not. Oh, that's where I put that. <laughs> uh, James Wesley Rawls Cold Steel Voyager XL. And then the rest of this stuff in here is mostly first aid kit. So let me pull it out and take a look at what's in here. Combat bandage, this Curlix roll and uh, stretch wrap. This is all for compressible, non-compressible bleeding. I haven't reviewed this yet, but this is the SWAT T tourniquet. I have several of these because they are so compact. This is in addition to all the other ones, the softies, the cats, the rats. But this one, this is my ED, this is, these are the ones I EDC. This one will actually go in your uh, back pocket very comfortably so you don't notice it's there. Best way to actually carry a tourniquet on you. Triangular bandage, you'll see these a lot, wet wipes. And I just restocked my Manuka Honey. This is the 16 plus UMF. Probably one of the most versatile things you can have in your medical kit. We'll talk about that some other time. Now let's open up personal first aid kit. And this is basically a little bit of everything. There's the rat's tourniquet. All that back there is all different types of different sizes of gauze, of bandages, of steri strips. I've got a thing full of different types of painkillers, uh, more gauze, more wraps, uh, insect sting ampules, eye washes, uh, surgical shears. So that's a lot of capability for just what's in that front console. And that's not even everything that's in here when it comes to medical. So what else do I got? Under my driver's seat, this is my trauma box. Uh, normally this was in another bag. I switched it to here because I wasn't carrying that bag every day. There's another one of those SWAT tees. This one's orange. Another Israeli bandage, another Curlix roll. Quick clot, quick clot gauze. Uh, another, so there's two combat bandages in here. Uh, soft, not a soft tee. Yeah, a soft tee tourniquet. Uh, super glue help close wounds got some gloves stretch wrap uh, leatherman raptor shears so between those two packs i could stop several arterial bleeds because you got to figure you get in an accident or something like that it may not just be you so take some time and get some of this stuff i mean take it seriously you're the, the odds of you being in an accident, getting shot, getting something happen is way higher than you being lost in the woods on a trip that you never take. So keep that in consideration. Under the passenger seat, that's where I store my anchor jump pack. So very compact jump pack. This is the most current one that they have. See how the charge is holding. Still says 100%. Of course, I can also power cell phones and stuff off of this as well, if need be. If, but I have another one specifically for that, so that is a redundancy. But have a way. This is more important to me than jumper cables, because jumper cables are dependent on having another person to help start your car. This is not. This is self-sufficiency. So now it's time to get in the back. Well, I'm already in the back, but let's open up the back and see what's but in there. I keep this bucket, which has a luggable Lou lid on it. So if you don't know, is that on? Yes, it is on. 
Sorry, I didn't think the uh, mic was on. So it's basically a portable toilet lid. But this has got a couple things in it. It's got sanitation and some spare clothes. So just right here, whoop, more wet wipes. I'm all about being clean. So this dry bag right here has a week's worth of socks and underwear. It's got about four t-shirts in it. And I think there might be something else in there. Those are like the most critical things as far as backup for when I'm camping or something like that. I might adjust this uh, to having more clothes, but those are backups. Got a roll of 55 gallon trash bags, which can also be used for shelter and things like that. And yeah, I know it's like very middle school, but it's kind of nice when you've been sweating out in the woods. Seal skin socks, winter, wet. Uh, bison uh, climbing rated belts. And here it is. This is the one that everybody always complains about. This is the one I get sick of hearing about. This is the thing that everyone thinks, like, you didn't think of it. You didn't think of it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I was seriously going to do... I'm Well, you know what? I may do that spoof, so I'm not going to give that away yet. But yes, there's that. You know, on occasion, if you go out to eat, you know, grab some extra napkins. Throw them in your pocket. And I've got a whole bunch of just uh, grocery bags. I've got the actual specific bags for the Luggable Lou. So like if you're in an emergency situation and everybody had Taco Bell before, you're going to want to have a specific bag for that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, sanitation and clothes are in the bucket. Okay, this particular vehicle has two different compartments, so I put a lot of the more common quick access stuff in the front compartment. So you lift this up, boom, here's the first compartment. This is some uh, Schrade demolition tool, which I don't know what to do with, but it does have some good prying stuff. Mechanics gloves, WD-40, Olight R40 Seeker, Ozark Trail Camping Lantern, Walmart. Seen these before? Thought so. Come on, mail truck, get a better truck. Got duct tape, electrical tape, clear tape. Here's the components for my uh, Ridgeline kit and to be able to make just about any type of tarp shelter. I have an Anchor 20,100 battery with a USB cable and a Goal Zero gooseneck LED light. I've got zip ties. There's another one of those Sharpies. Got emergency road flares. 30 gallon trash bags. I just added these. These are carabiner, they're not climbing rated, they're 150 pound rated, but these are for tying the paracord around the tree when I go camping and then I tie loops onto it and I hang everything that I have off that tree. I don't lose anything that way. Back up Manuka honey, the magic sauce. Sunscreen. Leatherman Surge, Leatherman Bit Kit, uh, Lock Pick Kit, Bit Extension, Work Sharp Field Sharpener, Vice Grips, Electric Ignition Lighter, JB Clear Weld, Loctite Super Glue, Rem Oil. 5W30. No, this one ain't for my car. That's for knives and tools and such. Yet another SWAT T tourniquet. Safety glasses that I never wear. And a small 
waterproof uh, dry bag for my Note 5 when I'm out. Small right in the rain notebook brought to you by GoingGear.com. Coupon code PM101 saves you 10%. <laughs> so that's all the stuff that I have just here in my quick access compartment. That's the small compartment. Okay, now as we get into the main compartment, this is where it comes into play that you need to have a good alarm system and maybe some other little redundancies like uh, motion cameras or something like that, which we will not be uh, showing. So we, we've got this part right here. Now we come to the main compartment. The main focus of this is a lot of the basics and redundancies. So. Uh, food, sh water, shelter, fire, tools, that sort of thing. So one, one compartment is all water, another one is water, but I also took two of the food pouches out of my 72 hour kit and put them in here because A, they fit per perfectly and B, I'm disassembling that kit and building another one because I get bored easy. So what we can get to right here, this pack, which is empty, obviously, uh, because if you're going to pull everything out of here, you're going to need a place to put it. This is, I, I still have this. I've had this for like, I don't know, two years. This is my Wrap Dom uh, Lethal 24 pack. And it actually expands quite a bit, and you can hold quite a bit of stuff in here. So I've got to have something big enough to carry a lot of things. Just did a video on this. So there is my Trek Light bug net. There is my Trek Light double hammock. And there is my Eno double hammock. This is something that was added after the last camping trip when it was colder than expected and I didn't have a sleeping bag. This is the SOL Escape Bivy. These things actually last through many, many uses and they are very effective. Back here, Brand new 5x7 Harbor Freight Camouflage 5 mil tarp. 9 foot by 12 foot drop cloth. Shema, it's on top because, again, emergencies, things like that. Uh, you might be wet, you might be bleeding. Have something like that on top. This is the Frog Togs rain suit. That's what actually kept me warm on that last camping trip. There's the grabber all-weather blanket that also came into play. Got some different suspension systems and things like that. There's the Eno Helio straps I recently reviewed. There's some bulk tubular nylon webbing rated to like 2,000 pounds so I can make tree straps out of this or do a lot of different things with it. Back there, that is my old sportsman's guide tarp. I forget the dimensions, but it's pretty big. It just takes up less space in the car kit than my AquaQuest tarp, which is my primary tarp. So this is the car kit one. Another drop cloth. Uh, these are my climbing rated binders. Uh, it's also got some tree straps. And this is just a safety retention line that hooks into my belt that I've used on occasion when I'm having to climb a tree or something stupid. Full bottle of ibuprofen, 500 I believe. My favorite eyeball blaster in the world, the Thrunite TN40. A five liter dry bag can be used to collect water or keep things dry. My Sabra Partner drop leg pouch. Uh, backpacking gonna hold everything and I'm gonna wanna have as many key things on my body as possible, not just in my bag. So a lot of the key stuff, fire things, is gonna go in here. This is a key one. And this is the thing that gets used probably the most especially if we're traveling got the wife the kids uh, if you're hey seen those before if you're out in the woods for a couple days so there's a little bit of every something for everybody in the family here several washcloths extra toilet paper multiple toothbrush toothpaste shampoo 
Uh, I've got several big bottles of that Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap, which is like the greatest thing in the world to clean up with in the woods. Uh, hair stuff for the wife, uh, deodorant, two different types of deodorant, crystal deodorant and degree. Uh, there's stuff, you know, there's floss in here. There's everything you could possibly think of. I got this little kit at the container store. Really comes in handy uh, if you're out car camping for a couple days or something like that. And not everything is about survival. I keep freaking telling people that, but they want to live in fantasy world. Okay, cordage. Cordage. There should be more cordage in here. Oh well. Uh, number 36 bank line. This is like some overbuilt paracord. It was like factory second because I don't know, they made it too hard or something, but it makes excellent ridge lines. That's my 64 ounce clean canteen. Got an extra little uh, seven by, or five by seven tarp. So I usually use this as a ground cloth. Redundant water filters. Again, I'm big about water and you don't know how long you'll be out there. You don't know how many people you'll have. These are extra brand new replacement filters for a Berkey uh, sport bottle. You can just use it with a straw. A uh, small pair of Bushnell binoculars. That is the uh, Pathfinder alcohol stove. Back there, I've got the Pathfinder uh, cup and stove. So those are two Pathfinder items I still have. Firebox stove and the Sterno stove kit. So again, I look at the possibility that I might have to support a family of four or who knows how many friends. So it's good to have options. And with the Sterno stove, I can use a bunch of different types of fuel. In here, this is the kit that I've joked about on Instagram before. It's like if you cannot get a fire started with what's in this box, you need to swim to the surface as quickly as possible because you are for sure underwater. You could burn the world down with this box. All right, let me move some things around. We'll get into the tools. Uh, before that, got some uh, quick calories, especially kids are hungry. Just regular granola bars don't go bad in the car in the summer. I've got water shoes and I've got a lot of these aluminum stakes for shelter building. In the tool section, well first I've got this, that's, that is my uh, Hidden Woodsman signal panel. This really comes in handy in the woods. Just for laying it on the ground and putting, if you got to put a tool down or something like that, you lay it on this, you're not going to lose it. Got a Cold Steel Special Forces shovel with uh, some Kydex a friend of mine made. If you're interested in it, I can probably connect you to him to get one of these. No, I don't know how much they are. Spare Jessica X, that's the original C2G fab sheath, so that's got my one of my big uh, Rick, Rick Lindsay rods and a Mora Bushcraft Black piggyback with the Beach and Tactical sling. Got some uh, prescription safety glasses. Got the Schrade uh, SCX 2L. My new favorite saw in the world, the Silky Zubat. My trusty Tramontina. And for backup fixed blade, that is the SCHF 51. And this has pretty much always just been a backup knife to me. I mean, I trust it. They're tough knives. Obviously, I'm going to use my knives first, but trust this one enough to uh, put it in this kit. Spork, ceramic rod, and again, got to focus on those calories there too. So, what do you think? Some, well, that's too much stuff. Well, that's just what I have in my car. That ain't counting what's in my <laughs> everywhere else. Nice thing about this, as I found, found in the last couple tests, uh, camping in the woods, whatever, I can literally drive anywhere. And with just 
even if I forget my bag. If I forget my bags or something like that, the only thing that I'm not going to have unless I have it in my pocket is a firearm. I don't store firearms in the car, obviously. But as long as I'm near this car, I can solve a lot of problems. Uh, one other thing wasn't in here because it was outside trying to get some sunlight. One of those uh, Lucy inflatable lanterns, so I have renewable camp lighting, emergency lighting, whatever. But it happens every single time I do a video like this. There are people out there that think that this is all one big genre. And they try to make rules of separate genres fit everybody else. Make no mistake, someone's gonna, someone will always chime in and say, well, Morris Koshansky says, you know, the less you know, the more you know, the less you have to carry. Okay? I'm not Morris Koshansky. This ain't bushcraft. This is prepping. This is what preppers do. We have what we need so we don't have to improvise. If we lose all that, yeah, fine. Then you get to that that part of the equation, you know, skills and improvising and stuff like that. But we play, we stack the deck to win. Any emergency, whatever it is. You know, he who has the most toys wins more often than not. Uh, you want to put your life at risk by making things harder on yourself? So what? So you can, you know, pound your chest and say, look at me, pat me on the back on social media. No, if you want to practice, that's a, that's just, I'm not, no, I'm not even going to talk about that. That's, that is a completely different topic to this video, but someone always brings it into it. The point that I want to make here is this is your mobile house. This is your home away from home. This is the thing that's always going to be the closest to you. I can't bring my house with me, but wherever I am, I generally have my vehicle with me. Uh, I guess the one, you know, okay, thinking ahead, one thing I haven't put in here that someone's probably going to say something about is some sort of like collapsible fuel container. There's always room for improvement. And here's, here's the catch-22 when it comes to prepping, is you got to know when to stop. I stopped here because everything is just, everything's put away nice and neat. And if I'm in my car, it looks like nothing's in my car. But then people be like, oh, where's your compass? It's, well, there's one right here. My Sun 2 Core. There's one on my phone. There's one attached to my EDC knives. There's one's in my bag. There, there's probably something somewhere that you're not seeing. But hopefully this at least gives you some ideas on what you can. I and mean, you don't have to do it my way. You don't. Uh, everybody's different. Everyone has different needs. Everyone lives in different places, have different risk levels. Uh, everything is different. This is just what I did. I show the things that I do to give people ideas, not to tell them that they need to do it this way. So this is better. This was better than the last version of this video that I did because I fixed some holes that were in there and I just identified another one. I mean, long-term scenario, zombie apocalypse, where well, I don't have a gas can. But now we're really reaching for those types of scenarios. If I'm, if I'm knowingly going, traveling somewhere where there's a risk of that, crossing the desert or something like, I'm gonna add different things. Preppers think ahead. Uh, you always think ahead. Always, always, always. Always weigh the risks and always don't be afraid to change your loadout, change what you do, this, that, and the other thing. I know this video probably still ran long, so I'm going to shut up for now. I'm Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. If you like this channel, if you like what I do, if you like the amount of content that I put out, you can help support me by looking in the description box below. That's the links to my Amazon store. That goes a long, long way to helping. There's other things in there as well. And always, you know, the, the likes, the thumbs up, the shares, uh, all that stuff matters. Matters big time. So other than that, I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then.